know you see just how I'm living. You're not happy with life, so you rockin' Reeboks on treetops, gang. Walk, got a big band, like Sasquatch. Every time you see it, what the you know it's time I got that chicken to golf. A lot of these look lost. They broke, they think it's my fault. No cost. I want that cost. I'm dripping, I'm stuck with the sauce. Good drip. But she love you, don't cut your. Yeah, yeah, Reynolds yeah, Vinci yeah, is white. That's light. Limited Louis, that's light. light. Rape in the city, that's light. That's light. LED, look at the lights. Light. We the ones don't like. Don't like us. But you look through light. Right Why even play with your light? Yeah. Bank account looking like yikes. The ops on IG all the time. I dare them go live. Wagyu steak, I die. Yeah. Eight ounce, 255. Yeah. I can't get fuck you with to groovy you me. If I ain't had love for me, I would have tried to get Nicki Minaj. Nah. Yeah. Jerry ain't gonna let you slide. Nah. Dory ain't gonna let you slide. Nah. You King of the city, I don't want to be a big fish in a small pond. Trying to get across that water. I need fans in Vietnam. If you got a hustle, but you can't stick to the ground, you wasting your time. I need a double of verse. I do it before it. FaceTime before I get to the club. Look at the line. Money ain't changed my heart, but I'm smarter. I guess it changed my mind. And I take care of my in prison. Don't think it's safe inside. I got that chicken to go. A lot of these look lost. They broke. They think it's my fault. No cost. No I want that cost. I'm dripping. I'm stuck with the sauce. Good drip. Good drip. But she love you. Don't cut your. Yeah, yeah, Reynolds yeah. Vinci is white. Light. Limited Louis. That's light. Rape in the city. That's light. LED. Look at the lights. We the ones don't like. No but you look too light. Too Why light. even play with your life? Bank account looking like yikes. Yeah. Take a look there at Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it, this crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Philadelphia Eagles. It's the final three weeks of the season. Still plenty to play for here as we're underway in week 15. It's a fair, and look at this. Right away, a loose football. And they have the football that will set up shop at the 33-yard line. And careless with a football there on the kick return. And one thing I love about going to practices is trying to get around coaches and hear their catchphrases and what they really emphasize. We haven't been to a single one yet this year where a guy fielding a kick, you don't hear, tuck it away, tuck it away, tuck it away. And this time, they turned it over. Ball security Dang. eluded him. The former second-round pick, this is Joe Mixon. And some space here. Finding room to the 20. Pittsburgh getting 16 yards there and also a first down. He was solid last week, over 100 yards in their victory on the ground. They want to get that going again. Absolutely. What they also understand is that from week to week, it's not necessarily the same, but they want it to be, right? What they saw last week on the ground, they want to see in this game as well. A first opportunity for the Steelers in the red zone. They have a first and 10 at the 18. Here's Dalton, buying time to his left. And he's going to take it in for a Steeler touchdown. A great effort there, hitting double digits with his 10th touchdown of the season. And the Steelers have taken a first quarter lead. There we go, there we go, there we go. That's Robbie Gold on for the extra point. Gold able to tack on the extra point, and that makes the score 7 0. Gold now out to kick it away. This is taken at his four. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line.
They go play action with Jackson being chased out left. And incomplete to open things up. Defensively here, you're facing a top five team in terms of points scored in the NFL. So when they're that high powered, you've got to find a way to hold them under 20. Because to me, that's the magic number. Now, Barney, 20 Barney. points scored. Give yourself your, you give yourself your best chance to win. So if they're up around now, 24, Barney, 28, 30, they could be in some trouble. And I think so because then you turn it into a shootout. And that means your offense has to keep pace. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Khalil Mack. And he is going to get this one back to the 20-yard line. Well, I get what he was trying to do. He was moving to his right and trying to shift the coverage. But instead, he shifted the coverage also to the right and threw it right into it for an interception. There, D gets the INT. Now what can Dalton do? He gets this in the hands of Mixon. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. It's a nine-yard pickup on the play, and it'll be second and about a yard. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They've become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. They tried to throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. Despite only needing one, Dalton to throw. And he finds a man, it's Olsen. And he picks up the first as he's able to take it down to the seven-yard line. Give him a gain of four, able to convert, and that sets up first and goal now. Play fake to Mixon. This is Dalton escaping the pressure right. Oh, he had six points in his hands there. Couldn't hang on. Second down. Once you get into the red zone and the safeties have less ground to cover, you'd better be quick with your delivery. Not much space to get a ball in there. Yeah, when that field shrinks with those safeties, it's almost like there's a couple extra defenders out there, right? It certainly is. They end up taking up extra space just because there's not enough space for receivers to run through. And again, Andy Dalton to throw. Flushed out right. Under heavy pressure, and down goes Dalton on the sack. Second goal, last thing you need to do is get pushed backwards to take a sack. But he couldn't find anywhere to go with the football. Had to eat it and ended up on the ground. Back at the 16 now after the sack. Here's third and goal. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Back at the 16 now after the sack. Here's third and goal. Andy Dalton. And probably the wise decision there. No one open. He just throws it away. And that keeps the field goal on the table as it's fourth down. Well, that was excellent coverage right there. And he definitely did the right thing, showing that discretion is definitely the better part of valor. Threw it away, preserved the opportunity to kick for a field goal. And excellent coverage. And right now, the human is controlling the defense. So good job, human. And Gold is able to put it through. And the lead moves to 10 zip. So the drive stalls out inside the 15-yard line, but they do get three. And I've talked with enough players nowadays that when they have these types of kicks, that no one says to their guy, hey, that's just like making an extra point piece of cake. Because the extra point is not a piece of cake anymore. <laughs> but kicking a field goal from that distance, just give him confidence and let him knock it through. This is taken at his four.
The Eagles offense now gets set to head back onto the field. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense mm -hmm. at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Pressure comes, and the Steelers take him down. Khalil Mack in there for sack Detroit, number 85 Detroit. of his great career, moving him past Hall of Famer Howie Long on the all-time list. They go play action now. Jackson, oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. Khalil Mack in there to Detroit, get him. Detroit. And that's sack number 18 for him on the year. Go on, go on. Go on, go on. There's Jackson on third and long. Going for the deep ball. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. And all Number. the way to the Number. opposite 45. Detroit. Detroit. A big play there for the Eagles on third down. 46 yards. Jackson on first down, throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. And he's certainly not a guy that drops that football very often. Indeed, because that's a bit of a surprise. I know he's in the middle right, of some traffic and people, Look bodies all around him, but he usually has the focus to haul that one in. Play action. Now Jackson. And an alley to run. I guess no need to force it when you can do that instead. First down, 18-yard gain. The last drive, remember, similar situation. He forced a ball into coverage through the pick. He learned better there. Yeah, similar to a golfer that's confronted with a shot that you just can't make. Sometimes you have to take your medicine, as they say, right? Just pull it down, take off, and go. Don't make something worse than what it was. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. And never good on a pass completion there to go the wrong way. Lost yardage. No, for some reason, it seems to work better when you throw it downfield or you can move the ball downfield running it that way, doesn't it? But in this case, if you're the defensive guys, you're energized, executed well, and you caused a lost yardage play. That's going to feel good and look great in film. He may try and run for this. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. Only able to get back a yard for his efforts, and that leads us to fourth down. He was able to get away earlier in the drive, but apparently all the time they put in practice finally came to the front, didn't it? They remembered their lessons and found a way to contain him when he took off on that one. Maybe a little fortunate there. That was leaking a little, maybe leaking a lot, but he got it. Yeah, he actually was able to make it work. How about the body language, though, right? As he watched that ball leak to the right, trying to, trying to bring it back in and had just enough to get it done. He'll bring it back to just about the 25, call it the 24-yard line. Now the Steelers' offense gets ready to get back onto the field. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Try to sit on a lead and play that way. That doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Run what you do best. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. The best way to do it? touchdowns. They're throwing to start the drive, but that went incomplete. Another look for Dalton on second and ten. Forced out to his left. And too much juice. It'll be out of bounds incomplete. Well, you've got a receiver here who's got one touchdown already in this first quarter, and they were trying to double his pleasure there. Wanting to continue to go to the guys already gotten into the end zone. But good coverage to make sure that this time it fell incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Dalton here from the gun. And he's able to find Diggs. 
And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. And that one results in 35 yards. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Now a play fake here on first down. Dancing to his left. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. Yeah, he only gets a few yards on first and ten, but he's better off doing that than throwing an incompletion or even worse, an interception. Back with Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon. It's... Second down, Dalton eluding the pressure right. And his throw is incomplete. Now those two have hooked up for a touchdown once already in this game, that time unable to find the completion. Yeah, it just appeared they wanted to get him out into open space and try and get him the football. As you mentioned, unable to connect. And the Steelers on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This will be third and five. From the gun, Dalton looks to throw. He's going to watch this thing way downfield. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. You hear the calls for a penalty, but I just don't think so. I think in this situation, the defender is making sure his guy couldn't hold on to the football. So I don't see anything to warrant to the flag. No, I'm with you. There was contact, but I'm happy they kept that flag in the back pocket. And Gold is able to put it through. And they will stretch their lead to 10 now at 13-3. These kickers now, it used to be that a 50-plus yarder was cause for celebration, now seemingly automatic. Yeah, isn't it funny? When we prepare for a game, when you look at the backgrounds of these kickers, it's interesting, isn't it, to find out they were all-state quarterbacks, receivers, defensive backs, all-state wrestlers, right, baseball players. We're finding athletes all along, and now they're just specialists putting it through the post. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The Eagles coming out as they get ready. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder and puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. Throwing on first down, it's Jackson. Flush to his right. And this would complete to Will Fuller. And he's brought down after a very nice gain. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Looked like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. Escaping the pressure right. And seeing no options, he just tosses this one away incomplete. Now that'll bring up second down. So he's three for seven throwing the football right now. Not an awful start, but also not the sharpest of starts. No, I would agree with that. But if you're a confident quarterback and to play that position, you have to be. You just act like there's something wrong with the wind currents or something wrong with the ball. <laughs> it is not you. Keep throwing. That timing usually develops. So after the incompletion on first, now gun, second and gun. ten. From midfield now, here's Jackson. Man open, that's Calvin Ridley. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. His first catch, good for 14 there, and a first down. Throwing now, Jackson on first down. And he will find Ridley on the left side. And they get this one down to about the 20-yard line. Another nice gain, 16 yards there and a first down again. That's the number two receiver in the NFL in terms of yardage. And tell you what, a few more plays like that, he won't be number two for long. Well, that's what often happens when you have competitors running around the field. These and this is going to be intercepted. 
Picked off by Jason Barrett. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. When a team's turned it over three times in the first half, we just look at the offense and say, guys, what are you doing? But instead, we really should be looking at the defense. They've created the takeaways. Two interceptions, one cause fumble. They played awfully well swarming to the ball here in the first half. Dalton now to pass. Going deep for Diggs. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. I would say it'd probably be a good idea for him to reintroduce himself to his receivers at the half because they're definitely on different wavelengths. But I also don't advocate waiting that long. Next series before you get out there. Hey, let's get together, guys. Let's get this thing moving. Second and ten. Dalton once more. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. Didn't have a receiver open downfield, and as it turned out, couldn't even find his outlet, man, because of the coverage. It's way too tight. Unable to find anyone open. And the Steelers on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third and ten. Dalton up play action. Going deep for Diggs. They've got his man complete. They give him a gain of 38. A great job pulling that one in from a guy, as we know, who can really blaze. He's got a lot of speed. And that speed can work for him so many different ways. Sometimes he just takes off and goes and just runs past people. Sometimes you get people to back off so far that you can catch everything underneath. But still, at some point in the game, you probably have to make some contested catches, right? Sometimes you have to go up and beat a defender for the football. He has that in his arsenal as well. Showed it right there. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Quarterbacking 101. Never force the ball into double coverage. Especially not this close to the goal line. The windows are so tight. You still want to force it in there because it could be tipped up and picked off. Flushed out right. Going deep for Diggs. And that one was nearly picked. Not sure he was accounting for the free safety. Now it brings up third down. A missed opportunity for an interception would have killed off a drive. They had a chance there to finish things off. Didn't get it done. I guess that's why a lot of those guys do not play offense. On third down, Nixon. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. The seven yards on the carry there, but now they're staring at fourth down. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. These kickers now, it's like we take them for granted. Kicks like that used to be such a big deal, and now you just expect them to make it. Yeah, you're exactly right. And we shouldn't take them for granted, but I have a theory about it. You want to hear it? Yeah. They are more athletic now than ever before. Talk about kickers. Mm -hmm. Trace their backgrounds, trace their histories. You'll find that they were big-time athletes all along, but their kicking was so prevalent that we made them specialists. Well, and now those 50-plus yarders seem easy for some reason. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. And two interceptions thrown here in this first half. You hear it, no matter the sport, they say the great athletes, they can kind of have a short-term memory, but that's easier said than done. It is easier said than done, but I played with a guy who threw two interceptions in the first quarter of a really big game we were playing. Johnny Unitas? And no, not, not quite of that <laughs> level and not of that age. But I, I was look, going for the age. Right? I remember looking over at it. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Jalen Smith. And he brings this one back. It's a pick six for a Steeler touchdown. Goal to add the extra point. Gold with the extra point. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Eagles offense back out onto the field. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. And this is where the coach is walking that line of being calm and really being firm with his team. 
Had one tell me once, you know, we were having a tough patch. This two show. And the Steeler pressure too much here. He's going to go down. Khalil Mack in there for the sack. And he's closing in on that all-time record. That's number 19 on the year. On second down, Jackson is going to float this one deep right side. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked by Kevin Byer. And a terrific return as he brings this one all the way back to the 30. A minute 57 to go in this first half. We'll come back to Philadelphia after this. So first and 10 now from the 30. There, D gets the INT. Now what can Dalton do? Eluding the pressure right. Throw left side taken in by Miller. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. It'll be a gain of 17 at a Pittsburgh first. They go play action here on first down. Flush to his right. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Those throwing windows get a lot tighter near the end zone, don't they? And here's the thing. You already probably have three points in your hip pocket. You force a throw here and give up an interception, you come away with nothing. Especially tough in the middle third of the field where he threw that one. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. And incomplete here. So a little razzle-dazzle on that one, but they couldn't hook up, and it's third down. Play fake. Here's Dalton. And that will be incomplete as well. Even without a ton of pressure in his face, it just shows how difficult it is to pick apart his own defense. Those guys are sitting back, and they're not playing receivers as much as they're playing the eyes of the quarterback and when he delivers the ball. And Gold is able to put it through, and that will extend their lead even further. So he splits the uprights and has to be a nice feeling. Right when it left his foot, knew it was good. Yeah, just like a good three-point shooter in basketball, right? Release the ball, fall back on defense without even looking. You know it's going in the hoop. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily that you look at your plays, oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. And now here is another interception. Picked off by Khalil Mack. And he brings this one back. It's a pick six for a Steeler touchdown. Now gold for the extra point. Gold able to tack on the extra point. And the route is on here in this first half. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. And out now come the Eagles. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned they're down. They're trying to get back into the game. But you got to figure if something goes wrong, you may have put yourself in a spot where you may not be able to come back in the second half. Managing risk, Detroit! this is a Detroit! big decision here. Line of scrimmage, again the 25, second and 10. Here's Jackson to throw. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. I hate to sound really negative, but at this point, an incomplete pass, Detroit! almost a moral Detroit! victory that it's not picked off. Well, you may hate to sound negative, but that was negative. It was very negative, I know. But all these first-half interceptions, it's been tough to watch. Yeah, couldn't find a silver lining in this one. Much more like lead. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. Four yards on the pickup, and that's going to make it fourth down. Here we go on fourth down with Jackson. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. 
as they'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. A couple of first downs as the football positioned at the 43 as they come up first and 10. To throw is Jackson. And a steal of pressure too much here. He's going down. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. As it comes with 22 seconds to go here in half number one. Now Jackson on second down. He's going to air one out. And it's knocked away and incomplete. It was a safety Kevin Byard that time who was able to knock.